Dove. Welcome. Thank you, Carter. How are you doing? Doing, doing lovely. Once again, the four minute challenge. To lovely. Differentiate and tell the story. The floor is yours. Awesome. Here we go. All right, cool, man. So yeah, Kujira basically is an ecosystem that is now focusing on finance, of course, DeFi, but we really are focusing on fintech. Um, as you guys probably know, we had a lot of experience with liquidations um, on the Terra end, and that was for almost a year. So we felt like after doing that for close to a year and having the experience that we had with specifically on-chain liquidations, we realized that if we are going to want to build uh, an ecosystem that is truly fair and kind of easy for people to use, but more importantly, as I say, fair for people to use and they're able to enter easily um, and whether it's bidding on liquidation somewhat ironically, kind of going back into that circular loop um, or simply trading on the decks, we realized that the stable coin is probably the most capital efficient route that we could go initially. And of course, every ecosystem really does need a stable coin. Um, so one of the big aspects that we were looking at is simply decentralized exchanges needing a, a stable coin asset. I um, think that's very important if you consider people coming into an ecosystem, people that are not necessarily really experienced traders. That's kind of one small aspect, but I think it's a big one. People really do need this a single coin asset. I think if they're going to be in, in, in an ecosystem like Kujira that is growing. Um, we also have a, a, a bunch of protocols that are joining. One which I'd like to mention because it's relevant to this discussion is called Local Money. So if you consider this is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. So if you've got people particularly in emerging economies, and this is something we really are focusing on, if you've got people in emerging economies where their currencies can be very flaky and there, there's often a lot of corruption and mega, mega high fees, this is something that we really are trying to tackle. So having this dollar-based um, currency, that could change down the line, but of course dollar is the, is, is the one most people are accustomed to. This is something that's really important for us. So this message that we keep saying of everyone deserves to be a whale or you know be the whale, what we mean by that is equality and fairness. So for us, having this stable coin is a very, very important aspect of that as we move further and further into the decentralized commerce space and specifically into payments, um, in DeFi. So that's something that's going to be a really, really large part of Kajira going forward. Of course, there's the broader ecosystem, which bolsters all of that, and it makes all of that possible. And it gives you various, whether it's lending markets or a, a whole range of apps, that those are the things that bolster this ecosystem. And then, of course, as per um, Agoric, they were saying, of course, it's RBC enabled, interchain, all those lovely things that the Cosmos brings us. So yeah, for us, I know make a DAO are coming on. It's very much the same model if you want to talk about model over collateralized. Um, so we really feel like given all the stuff that's gone on in the space, this is an important aspect. We are looking and already have started providing um, a range of, of collateral options. We're looking outside the cosmos too because we believe that this really should be diversified. So we've already got Ethereum, the guys at Axelar, who everyone in cosmos knows, bringing over Ethereum in a really safe way as well as guys like Nomic Bitcoin. So yeah, for us, it's really about instead of going from the top down with payments, we're trying to go from the bottom up and service people that really, really need payments to work for them. They need, they need lower fees and they need systems that they can literally work with just their mobile phone, which is what we're going to be working towards. And this really is the basis of the stable coin. Yes, it'll be cosmos wide. It'll be all, all those great things, but we really are focusing on this bottom up um, sort of helping of people that really, really need the infrastructure and probably don't have it. So this is really the grounding for the stablecoin. Amazing. I think what I, what I love about, I mean, two, two things that really stand out to me. The, the, the first one is the desire to get the stablecoin into the real world and solving real commerce problems. What is the purpose of Web3 if it can't actually impact our everyday lives? And so that message of fairness and inclusion, like that's 100% what stablecoin needs need in order to thrive. And then I think the second part that stands out to me is the story of Kajir is that you were there for the collapse of an entire ecosystem. You, you, you've, you've seen the massive problems, but you've also been able to glimpse into the future and see what, what could be. And so I think that's the continued story of Kajir as one of resilience, one of fairness and, fairness and inclusion. So thank you for your summary. Can't wait to do even more, more deep dives with you, Dove.